Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Fan Fiction. That probably isn't Fan Fiction. So, uh, today's subject is actually a suggestion that I got a long time ago, and I'm finally getting to it. Uh, thank you to Jax.Nonamaker6. Uh, I'll have the correct uh, way of saying on screen. So, um, yeah, so, he said for this uh, subject today, is Stranger Things. Now, I'm not quite familiar with the series, but I sort of developed my own story off of it. So, uh, yeah. So, real quick, let me explain a little bit what Stranger Things is, and then sort of get a little bit more into my story I have developed. So, uh, Stranger Things. Um, it is a series that has um, a psychic girl named Eleven, where uh, she visits a place called the Upside Down, I think aggravates someone somehow, and they come into their world and all, who knows what, breaks loose. And during the process, people get kidnapped and trapped in the Upside Down. Uh, they go back, save them, and it goes through this, just them encountering this new world. So, uh, now for my idea. So, um, my character is named Demi. Uh, also, oh, one other thing. If you guys like this, um, new styling where I draw my characters, uh, please let me know in the comments below. So yes, Demi. He, so, how his story begins is that, um, this wasn't the first time someone found the Upside Down. There was another group that did find out the Upside Down, however, they weren't as lucky as the people in the town. Uh, and one of the people that was kidnapped was Demi. Demi was trapped in there and no one came to his rescue. So uh, Demi is a very different case uh, compared to Will and um, I think her name is Beatrice. I'm sorry if I had the names wrong. So um, he actually lived there for... 10 years about out and all he could do is just fend for himself however the blood was very contagious and where if the blood came in contact with someone that person may or may not get um part parts of that creature forming on them as you can see demi has encountered a lot of things in the upside down as you can definitely tell, uh, the Demogorgon was one, and the tail is uh, something I made uh, in the set. I haven't seen this sort of tail in anything else, but yeah. So, uh, also, if you don't know what Demogorgon is, picture Demogorgon. Yes. So now, the story begins where when Will gets uh, took into the Upside Down. This is uh, substituting some events. Also, spoiler warning. Just in case I might spoil anything, I don't know because I haven't watched series that much, except for an episode and a few walkthroughs, but yeah. So, Will is in the Upside Down, he's lost, he's scared, and he's hiding from the Demogorgon. Then along came Demi, realizing there's another human in this realm that he's lived in for so long. Uh, he helps him. He, he uh, knows of one possible exit to the real world that he never thought existed, but now needs to help his new friend, Will, to get out here. So they travel through the Upside Down. They encounter many things, a pack of demi dogs. He swiftly kills them all. And he, he and Will just continue walking through and until they finally meet up with this Demogorgon that Will has been chased after. So, in immediate action, and Demi, he attacks the Demogorgon and wins. He takes off an arm and the tail plunges right into the Demogorgon. It starts to seem like it's having a heartbeat, but more of actually sucking the essence out of the Demogorgon. And Demi just gnaws on the arm of it because he's hungry and there's nothing else to eat here. And he shares his food with Will, making sure he doesn't have the same problems as he gets. As soon as they're done eating, they take a night 
and then head towards the exit. Now, the problem that he forgot about was it's guarded by the creature that you've seen from the hospital in uh, Stranger Things. So, oh, they have to be extremely careful because Demi has no idea if he can actually kill this thing. So, they slowly make pass, but sound goes off and the monster attacks, but Demi manages to fight it off and get through the tunnel. The will gets hit in the head and he's rendered unconscious. Quickly, Demi he wraps around in his tail and quickly runs out the hole and covers it up with some of logs that were nearby. He puts Demi, uh, he puts Will down and checks to make sure he's not dead. And just like all he has is a bit of a concussion and a few cuts, but other than that, he's okay. So as he was about to help, he, um, the sheriff and Will's mom come, um, seeing that he's all right and he's just in the woods. Quickly, Demi hides up in the tree to make sure he doesn't get spotted because he knows humans don't like the Upside Down. No one did during his time. And he assumes this in any circumstance. So, they get Will. Will wakes up not remembering a thing what happened. And except he's here and he's at home. Demi realizing he got amnesia from that hit from the spider monster. I don't know what it's exactly called. I'm going to say spider monster. So they take him home and they make sure he's alright. So now, uh, Demi has a bit of a problem because uh, he had experienced many side effects just living in the Upside Down and he wasn't sure if Will would experience the same side effects as he did. So he decided, I'm going to shadow him so that way I can know he's okay and not experiencing the same side effects as I was. But he realized he can't go around looking like this so oh he decides to put on disguise. He goes to a junkyard and finds some scraps of clothing, puts on gloves by folding his fingers in and folding his toes in and putting on um, mittens and shoes and he wraps his tail around his torso oh, so that way it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. He puts over a jacket, um, closes his mouth up and puts on a ninja mask and up his hood. Now he looks Oh, normal-ish. So, oh, he goes through town looking for Will. He eventually come, happens upon Will and sort of inserts himself into his group of friends. He just sort of remains in the back, but makes sure Will is okay. But he's noticing more and more side effects than he was hoping he would not see. So, later one day, he decided, okay, I'm going to fix this somehow. He gets into Will's house and he just doesn't know exactly what to do and then his tail gave him an idea. If we sucked out the venom like I do with the creatures, possibly he, we can get rid of the side effects. He likes that idea but usually when the tail extracts venom out or essence of an upside downer, the participant usually dies. But in this case Will is human experience a little bit of the upside down so it might not hurt as bad but he doesn't want him to die. So he decides to make a small incision in the leg so he can suck out the venom from there. They do so and so far it's going okay it's a little harder than he expected but the parents started coming but uh, Will's mom starts coming down the hallway. They knew they're in trouble so they immediately hid underneath the bed to, in case they saw him. The mom looks in doesn't look anything out of the ordinary, goes, goes to bed. So Demi continues sucking out the venom and gets the last drop as Will wakes up. Thankfully for Demi, he was out the window, but he saw his tail, which is a sort of interesting feature for him anyway. So he tells mom that something cut into my leg, I don't know what, and it leapt out the window. Everyone now is looking out for this tail of the creature or that Demi is. So he remains to be quiet and not rouse any suspicion. He continues being Will's friend and in the company of his other friends as well. 
this is up until they get to the hospital where the spider monster once again comes out. Uh, he realizes Will and his friends are in danger, so he decides to take action and protect them. He gets out of his getup and, and fights off the spider monster and wins. And but everyone's so afraid of him that they won't give him the chance to explain what happened. He he tries his best, but the they just run him out and he gets back through the upside down and that's about it for the story that I have. So uh, I'm sorry if uh, the story isn't very structured. Also, thank you again, Injax.Nonamaker6, for suggesting this video. Uh, real quick, before I end, uh, fin wrap up, um, I just have a quick question for you guys. Uh, one, I am thinking about changing the name of this channel into a different name. I would love to hear your guys' suggestions in the comments down below. And for right now, I'm thinking possibly fan fiction that's not fan fiction, but I would love to hear your guys' suggestions because honestly, I don't like that name. And so yeah, and also, if you want to have your movie or TV show or whatever you want to see a fan fiction that I come up with, please let me know in the comments down below. I love to read your guys' comments. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.